Cubs, the Kentucky Wildcats have a beautiful evening here at Commonwealth Stadium. The temperature's in the low 70s, with a halftime temperature supposed to be around 65 degrees, as Kentucky takes on Kip. We want the ball. Let's go. Are you going to defeat? Penn State wins the toss. Ralph and will receive. And Kentucky will have great field position on the 49-yard line of the Kent's 49. Kentucky rushers. He's four yards ahead of Terry Samuels. Kentucky finds for the first down right up the middle. Kentucky would use a lot of different receivers tonight. Troy Hobbs is also in there wide to the right. Fall games prior to this, they had shown almost three complete and separate offenses. Of course, they played North Carolina State and were crowds there. They complete that pass, and there's a flag down. This is Dale C. He has hit right at the line of scrimmage and brought down. Brad Smith on the option. Collins. Collins again for short yardage as he gets up to about the 33-yard line. It's second down and 10. Right up the middle in the first three ball games. They throw quickly. It is complete first down. A lot of caves on those helmets out there tonight, Biggin. Here's for the fact. This is Kennebrew. Kentucky pinning his ears, ears back. Complete over to Barnes. As Barnes first down out to the 50 yard. We saw that stand earlier. Here's a draw play again. Kennebrew caught from behind. He's just about every running back he's got. This is Rudolph. If they can get him to the outside, he'll turn it on. But they can't get him to the outside. Never had a chance. Wow, well, they stunned it what they did. The standard linebacker. Well, they lose a bunch. It'll be third down and 18. Out of the shotgun. This is Rudolph. The little guy's caught from the angles at about the 39-yard line. Joe Dolphra is in at quarterback for Kent. He it was the starting quarterback prior to the Ball State game. Number 14 on the option. He'll turn it up. Aaron Kettebrew, nine rushes, 36 yards so far tonight. Second and two. First down, Kennebrew, big hole again into the Kentucky First secondary. down and ten. Right straight up the middle, the Wildcats carry it. Smith to Hood. Shy of the first down as Hood is stopped over on the right side by Patterson. Third down and one, Kentucky. That's the first down as they slam it right at the 30-yard line. Again now. Brad Smith to Damon Hood. The line of scrimmage, he meets everybody. It says hello. That is not the fastest opening play, and you got to sustain your block just a little bit more. Askin and company have got to sustain the blocks inside just a little longer to create a scene. Right down, the offensive linemen are up. The big two passes locked down. They got a hand on it. Big number six. Well, that's Harris who got his hand on it here for the Golden Flashes with 727. First down and 10. It is complete. Over to Gregory in the backfield, along with Gregory, number 30. They run from the straight eye. Golf for the throw. Complete. They've got the ball up at about the 45 yard line. Right over the middle to Eric Miller. Golf for back again. They get the first down, Kennebrew to the 40. You know, the Mid-American Conference is really a fine, small football conference. They cause a lot of these big school problems. Some of the people say, Sam, that it is a coaching conference because they don't get the front-line players, or maybe in some occasions even the, the second-line players. Do you buy that? Yeah, I believe that. Uh, over the years against Southeastern Conference opponents, they're batting about 500. That says a lot for them. And these are kids that a lot of big schools really don't give an opportunity to uh, offer them a scholarship. You've got to give them a lot of credit. I asked Michigan State about this conference, Ralph, about two weeks ago. Oh. <laughs> they don't want to talk about it now. No, they took it lightly. 45 seconds to go. Dover throws, lob in the end zone. Touchdown, that's Barnes. Sean Barnes beat them all, turned and brought it down. Brad Smith was beat bad. He's crawling the receivers back. All right, and the receiver, Sean Barnes, did a wonderful job of uh, holding on. Coach Cardello there on the sideline. It's time to talk to his ball club. He's got a lot of teaching to do, a lot of coaching to do to make this ball club competitive in the max. No question about it. If you said these guys haven't been late weightlifting, he's got a lot of conditioning to do, too. 
because this is a game called Collegian Football Division One football game is a 365-day job. Pete Godelli, head coach, 0-3-0, coming into this ball game. He was at North Carolina State as a player and as a grad assistant. He's been with Lou Holtz just about as many years as Mrs. Holtz. He's learned a lot from him being around here. A little defensive adjustment made at the last second at the snap by Kent. They slow down a Kentucky big gainer. This is Demon. This Demon gets placed back to the line of scrimmage and no more. It's right back to the line of scrimmage, maybe one yard. The middle of the line comes up to make the stop. 12 minutes, 40 seconds to go. On the stop is Sean Patterson along with Agnew. Damon Hood. Hood hits short yardage inside the 10. Smith intercepted. He threw it too low and intercepting it as the linebacker Murray North. Sure did. Big Todd Terry was out there as his personal defender. He didn't have any pressure on him. He had great pass blocking. Todd Perry this time pulls out, becomes his personal defender. Look at big 6'8". See him right up on old boy's mustache, keeping him off of, of uh, Brad. That is the fifth interception of the year for Kent. That is the first interception by Murray Norris, a man who was two-time All-Ohio selection. Nine minutes to go in the third. Collins is, Collins is down to the eight-yard line. Patterson, the linebacker, makes this effort. This is Hood caught behind the line and spilled. That is Keynes, the strong safety who is coming at him strong. Remember Larry Wilson used to play for the Cardinals? Yes, That's a safety blitz. He disregarded any kind of passing deal and just shot right through there. Catching from behind. And it's going to be a loss of about two yards. You can see it that This is Damon Hood. Hood got close to the first down. Well, how quickly Kent shut off that hole. I thought it was going to be a big game. Kent's got good pursuit here. Looked like uh, Walker was beaten on the block that time. That's a big league hit, too, on the Golden Flashes part. It's fourth and one, and Kentucky's going to go for it. I don't think it is either. Very close. His left guard got stuffed, Ralph. That's what happened to it. His left guard got stuffed. He run right into the left guard's feet the way I saw it. Sneak gets it. There is nothing there. Absolutely nothing. Somebody, submarine, took went right at the legs of the Kentucky players. And there's the measurement Kent has held. Well, nothing there. Big Chuck Bradley, 65, on the back of his jersey. Adrian Sherwood is also in there as they give it to Kennebrew, turning the corner. Kennebrew. He gets another first down. Dolphin. It is complete to Kennebrew. What a game he's played. First down. Down to the 25 yard line. Kennebrew, look at this, Sam. Rush for 81 yards has caught 24 yards. From the eye, wide receivers are on the left. This is Dolphin. Again, the nice football around here. It's been a long time in coming back. That's just the Estoril field. Dolphin gripping himself up a bit as he rolls out, completes it to Gregory. The fullback stopped by. Wide receivers on the right side. Dolphin comes left. All play. He's going to carry it. Now he rattles the football. Call and runs off to Haywood. Haywood is off to the races. We got a flag down. It is complete, just shy of the first down. Really roll over for, for Kent to get it. It's Haywood. Haywood getting good yardage. Cutting right up the middle. Tonight. What's the name of his hometown again, Ralph? Ashtabula. <laughs> One of the great cities up there. He's, in a, he's an iron man, I can tell you that. 
Deuce Williams putting the pressure, but the pass is completed to Gregory. Rival out of the stadium. It is complete. Again, it's Gregory, and he gets out to about the 30 in North Carolina game last year down in Chapel Hill. Golfer throws. It is complete. First down. Now, that is really playing under pressure. He throws over to Gucciardo. Again, Maggard giving to Collins. There's nothing there. First down and 10 now. Mark Eskin, five gold stars. I give it to him. Oh. And Kent got it in the air. Aspect number 58. Looks like his left knee they're working on. Mm. We'll look at it again. On the backside. You'll see the ball pop up. And that is Asbeck who got it. And Asbeck was injured. Well, I hate the knee injury. I hope it's just a spring. The Wildcats entered the game as the heavy favorite against the Mid-American Conference foe. And the Wildcats always seem to play well in night games at home. As a matter of fact, they have won 10 in a row under the Commonwealth Whites. The night started off well on their first drive. Fairdale's Craig Walker scores from one yard out. And then on their second drive, the Cats go up 14 to zip. Brad Smith connects with Neil Clark, and Clark turns it into a 38-yard touchdown play. On their last drive of the first half, backup quarterback Pookie Jones engineers a drive to the one. That's where Craig Walker takes it in. The Cats improved to 2-1 with their win over the Kent Golden Flashes. 